howdy. Welcome back to Underwater Math. It's Pony here and today we're going to interpret fractions and represent fractions with expressions. Saddle up and let's ride. I'm Pony's sidekick Kenny. I hold this wrench here because I've got all the math tools you'll need to get through today's ride. All right, let's get going. Do you know how to write the fraction 1 fourth as an expression? Read it from the top down, starting with the numerator and then reading the denominator. 1, then the division sign, 4. 1 divided by 4. There could be one pizza shared between four people. What about writing the fraction 2 thirds? 2 divided by 3. 6 eighths. 6 divided by 8. 5 ninths. 5 divided by 9. The numerator in a fraction and the first digit in an expression and in an equation is the dividend. It's the total that you are separating into groups. The second number is the divisor or the number of groups or parts you are separating the total into. Kenny has two jumbo sized cookies and he wants to give one to me and one to you and one to your mom. The expression would be two divided by three. Let's write that as a fraction. We divide each cookie into thirds then give each of us equal parts from each, and diddly do, they each ended up with two thirds of one jumbo cookie. I have three cupcakes. I want to share with Kenny and my three other friends. The expression is three divided by four. Let's model that. I have three cupcakes and I'm cutting them into four equal parts each. If I give each of my friends an equal amount of parts, well look at that, they each have three fourths of a cupcake. You never want to read the fraction from bottom to top. That totally changes the game. The fraction 6 fourths is 6 divided by 4. But 4 divided by 6 is 4 sixths. Thanks Kenny for all the tools. Alright, go forth and start solving division fraction problems. Keep working at it.